today i am going to discuss the second lesson of grade 10 uh, that is about the fundamentals of a computer system so in this chapter you are going to learn the features of a computer classification of computers functions and devices of a computer system basic components of a computer computer ports and computer network now let's see what is a computer a computer is an electronic device which accepts or collects data processes them according to the given instructions and produces the desired output okay children now we come to the characteristics of a computer there are few characteristics one is speed accuracy efficiency versatility and storing and retrieving so if we come to speed the computer can do a lot of calculations within a second we say that it can run millions of instructions within a second if we come to accuracy the computer provides correct output when the instructions and data are correct right if we come to efficiency a computer never gets tired it can work around the clock within the same level of accuracy right you know that the server computers are running throughout the 24 hours and 7 days and 30 days in the month and uh, throughout the year but they never get tired versatility means a computer can do many tasks at the same time a computer can do many tasks at the same time then the other thing is storing and retrieving right we can store a large amount of data in the computer and we can retrieve them or we can get back them as we want quickly now we are going to classify the computers there are two ways one is according to size and the other other one is according to technology if we consider the size of the computers we can classify them as super computers mainframe computers mini computers and micro computers and according to technology there are three types one is analog computers another one is digital computers and the third one is hybrid computers now let's talk about supercomputers supercomputers are high in computing power they are large in size expensive and rare used for scientific and engineering functions and to solve complex mathematical problems right they actually are uh, used to solve complex problems that means uh, they have been given a dedicated task right uh, they are used in uh, nasa large scale businesses and for military purposes now we come to mainframe computers they are relatively they have relatively less computing power and less expensive than the supercomputers a number of users get connected to one computer using a number of terminals sharing saving and retrieving data that means uh, mainframe computers can be used to give service to several users they are used in large scale businesses and in e business and also used in some large commercial institutions for example google amazon and ebay okay children now we are at mini computers these are slower less powerful and less expensive than mainframe computers and are also called common purpose computers these are easy to use a few users get connected to the central computer here through a few terminals to share data and information 
some banking systems use mini computers. Now we come to microcomputers. Small computer means for personal use. This consists of a small memory capacity, is smaller in size, is less speedy and is less expensive. Further, this consumes little electricity. For example, desktop computers, laptops, notebook computers, tabs, smartphones. Now we will classify the computers according to technology. First one, analog computers. These computers use analog signals such as environmental parameters like speed, pressure and temperature. Speedometers, road lamps with sensors, meteorological machines can be given as examples. Here you have been given a signal of an analog wave. Now we come to digital computers. The computers that we use in our day-to-day -day life are called digital computers. These computers use digital signals using electricity. So beside the text, you will see a digital signal which contains a sequence of ones and zeros. And the next type is hybrid computers. This is a combination of analog and digital computers. The ECG machine used in hospitals to check the function of the heart is an example for hybrid computers. This machine identifies the function of the heart, heartbeat, right, which is an analog signal. Then it is converted to a digital signal and these converted signals are printed by this machine. Now we are about to discuss the functions of a computer system. In a computer system, there are several components. One is the CPU and uh, input devices, output devices, main memory and secondary storage devices. So uh, the CPU contains three main components. One is a control unit, ALU and the other one is registers. So each and every device, that means input devices, output devices, secondary storage devices, communicate with the CPU through the RAM. The red color arrows shows you the data and instructions, the way they are moved or they are handled. And the black color signals are the signals released by the control unit, which are called control signals. Those signals are used to control the devices in the computer system. 